Welcome to 9design 3D. Let's make some cup of cat. Let's make cup first. We add cube and Ctrl 2 to add subdivision surface. Ctrl A to apply subdivision modifier. Ctrl 1 add subdivision again. Check the cage. Select top faces. X to delete faces. Select edge line with Alt and SZ0 and S to scale. For holder, select side of faces and select edge line with Alt, E to extrude, rotate and scale. Select some top of line of holder and S in Y axis. You can add a loop cut. Select top edge with Alt and E to extrude, S to scale and F to fill. For cat, we will add cube again. Ctrl 2 to subdivision surface modifier. Ctrl A to apply again. Z in wireframe. Select bottom vertices and delete them. After that, select bottom edge line and F to fill. Ctrl 1 to subdivision again. Add Ctrl R to the bottom part of it. And shade smooth. Scale a bit. For ears, select some top faces and choose edge lines. Loop tool and circle. E to extrude the ear parts of it. G to move and scale for natural ear shape. Add loop cut for the bottom of it. Select edge lines with Alt. Ctrl B to bevel. And scale in Y axis. Make same thing to the other part. Z to wireframe. O to proportional edit. When the proportional edit is checked, scale and G to move your ear shape. Let's make some stylized strawberry. First we add the cube and Ctrl 2 to subdivision modifier, shade smooth and Ctrl A to apply subdivision modifier and again press Ctrl 1 to add another subdivision. Z to wireframe in tab to edit mode, select bottom vertices and scale like the strawberry. For leaves, add a plane, add the subdivision modifier, Ctrl R to loop cut, add another loop cut to the nearest of the middle part, select the middle edge and G to move down a bit. It will look like a big leaf now. Z to wireframe mode and select vertices, O to proportional edit and G with like that, more curvy leaf look. Again, in wireframe mode, you can select your vertices, which you want. You can scale them. Place your strawberries top face. Select all vertices with A and E to extrude down. Place it onto your strawberries top face. Shift T to duplicate it and R to rotate. Let's add some branch, add cube, Z to wireframe and tap to edit mode, add Ctrl R to loop cut and subdivision surface and shade smooth. You can add some loop cuts for, uh, for more flat look. Now we will add dots onto our strawberry, we will add the cube again and Ctrl 2 to subdivision surface modifier and shade smooth. Scale in Z-axis, G to move and rotate for your strawberries faces. You can place it like that. 
You don't have to make whole strawberries faces. You can make some part of it because back lines won't show in. Control J to join your all strawberries parts and place it onto your cup near the cat. Shift T to duplicate your strawberry and you can rotate and scale it near your cat. Let's make some stick candy. Add cube to our scene and scale. Add subdivision surface modifier with Ctrl 2 and shade smooth. Add subdivision surface again. Add some loop cuts for a bit flatty look. Essence that axis. We will add new materials for candy and the red material. Tap to edit mode, select your some face lines for red part of it. Assign your red material. It will look like that. We will add simple deform modifier. In axis will be Z. You can change your angle for twisted look. Which type you like, you can apply your modifier. Place it, place it back of your cat in the cup. Shift it to duplicate another stick candy. But we will make this different color, so you can minus your materials from it. It's time to make cream part of our cat. First, we add circle, decrease number 12. In tab to edit mode, select, checker, deselect, S to scale. Now select all, E to extrude in Z axis, R to rotate, E to extrude again and R to rotate, scale, E to extrude, R to rotate and scale. For top part of it, M to merge at center, at subdivision surface modifier and make level viewport 2. Have to fill bottom part. If you want, you can rotate more twisted look to your loop cuts. Place it to your cat's head. You can shift it to duplicate for put the near of the cat in the cup. Scale and rotate how you want. Let's add soup or coffee part of it. First, we add plane and Ctrl R. You can use if you want a circle in here. I forgot to use circle, why I don't know. So I used plane. G to move loop cuts vertices and place it. If you want, you can add some subdivision surface modifier or you can select some part of it and Ctrl B to bevel, G to move for a bit wavy look. It's time to make plate of the cup. Add circle. Select all vertices, E to extrude and right click, it will give up, S to scale and E to extrude again and S to scale and G down the vertices part, E to extrude and F to fill. You can move your some vertices edge lines for a bit, for a bit curvy look, but the important thing is select all vertices, E to extrude down. For line edges, for line edges, select your faces with Alt and S in Z axis. It will make tiny corner to our plate. Choose all your cat cup and candies and creams. 
with box selection, press M to move them to a collection. You can hide your collection. We will add a spoon a quick way I will show you now. First edit preferences, add-ons, check the mesh, extra objects, shift A, mesh, extras and teaspoon. Change your type to teaspoon. You can increase your resolution and shade smooth. Spoon is ready now. You don't have to model it anyway. Place it near your cup. If you want, you can shift it to duplicate your strawberries and you can put them onto the plate. Let's make some eyes. Add UV sphere, RX19, shade smooth and scale. Numpad 3 for side view, Z to wireframe, tap to edit mode and select back part of vertices and delete them as in Y axis and place it to your cat's head. Now it's time to add mouth. Add curve, head, in tap to edit mode, right click and subdivide. Choose your middle vertices and G to Z axis, select your side vertices and G to move in z-axis again and the other vertices G to down. Scale to your mouth. In curve settings, geometry, in increase your depth value. And don't forget to fill the caps. Mouth is ready now. You can place it onto your cat heads. It's time to add cheeks, shift it to duplicate your eyes, as to scale in z-axis to your half spheres, place it onto your face. It's time to add material, add your cat material first, go to shading tab, add color ramp and connect your color to base color, Control T. To open your mapping nodes, you can find it in Edit Preferences, Add-ons and Node Wrangler, make active it. In Texture Coordinates Object node, connect to the mapping vector. Let's add some third color variation to our color ramp. You can set your color like the gradient wave of Maybe if you want, you can choose your between some same colors or you can select different colors from each other. Let's add separate X, Y, Z with the Z axis. Gradient is become top to bottom. If you want, you can choose like that or other axis. It's time to add strawberry or select your main strawberry color add your other colors with plus icon dot and leave set your strawberry color in ready in edit mode select your dots with l and assign your dot color You can change your dot color now. For leaves, we will make same thing. L to select your leaves and assign leaf material on it. We will make same thing to our other strawberries. For other stick candy, you can choose what which color you want. I choose, again, <laughs> a bit pinky color. For cream, you can set your cream a bit yellow-white color. And if you want, you can change it. For spoon, set your base color first. After that, decrease your roughness and increase your metallic. It will look like porcelain or ceramic way for soup or liquid part of it you can set your another color let's make eyes we will add black color and decrease roughness for mouth you can check same thing for cheeks 
which color you want you can set it i made a bit pinky now plate and cup i choose again the spoons color let's add a plane and set up our render scene select your planes edges with e extrude in z axis b to bevel your corners and shade smooth in shading tab in world section you can increase your background strength let's set up our lights you can shift D to duplicate your area lights, rotate them. It looks more light now. You can set your resolution 4K. In output section, don't forget to ambient occlusion blue and screen space refraction. It will look more realistic look, maybe. Shadow, you can set your shadow in 2K. In color management, look high contrast. You can change your plain color. Render animation like that. Thank you for watching. See you later. Please don't forget to subscribe and like.